assembled our uh, rocker base, the Dobsonian mount, so as to call it. I deliberately not put the lens unit, and some of you eagle eyed viewers would have seen that I changed my uh, clothes. That's because I assembled it yesterday, and today I'm continuing the vlog because uh, I had some office work and I had to attend to it. So now the agenda for today is we'll keep the rocker base aside, we'll open the telescope and for many people who usually start uh, astronomy in the beginning they mature astronomy, they usually want to know who are some of the sellers, who are some of the retailers uh, and who are some of the manufacturers based in India. So I bought this GSO 10 inch Dobsonian, the manufacturer is GSO, it's a Taiwan based organization and uh, I bought it from Modern Telescope. Uh, it's a company based out of Pune, and I got a very uh, I got help of a person called uh, Ashutosh. So he was actually very helpful. He patiently listened to all my queries. He told me that this should be one of the telescopes which you should buy. Actually, this was anyways on my radar. So he helped me a lot during the procurement dispatch. So this is not a paid promotion. What I'll do is I'll give the link in the description so that if you want to visit their website, you can go and uh, check over there. So without any further delays, let's get the unit out and uh, start a So guys, our unit is again back here. This is a wide beauty, if you see, a GSO 10 inch telescope, a Newtonian telescope mounted on the Topsonian mount. So if you see guys over here, these are the units on which it will be mounted and put on the Topsonian mount. This whole piece, some might call it pipe, others call it the light tube. I prefer the word light tube. This is our telescope. This is the base unit for the fan. I am pretty sure this should be the fan. No, this is the extension tube which we which you get with this. So I will keep it here as of now. All the accessories which are there on the top. Then I will see this. I, I think this is one of the eyepieces. I am not, I, I'm not sure. I am just oh, unboxing it right now. This also is another piece which is which comes at the top. I will tell you what all pieces are there which they put it at the top of the unit. So these are the side panels. Oh these are heavy. These are like both of these are around probably 2 to 3 kgs in totality made of aluminium or steel. So these two will mount on the two side panels. Now this I think should be the finder scope assembly. Nicely wrapped in a bubble wrap. I will keep this also here. Now uh, let's just check if anything else is left which needs to be taken out. No. Now before you see this, I want to show you the accessories which have come up. So let's open this one. Okay, so this is the finder scope bracket made out of uh, steel. So this is, I am pretty sure this is the finder scope bracket. I will keep it here as of now. This is a GSO Plossal 9mm multi coated lens wow. this looks nice uh, I'm not opening it because there's no way to test it right now in, in home environment so I'm keeping it in the box is the 8 factory panel this will be used for the fan which is there in the bottom of the of the uh, telescope now this is okay GSO FF13 extension tube oh okay they have given an extension tube also which is of course very much required in in these conditions you 
which is the 30 mm lens 2 inch 30 mm lens which comes with this telescope now these are your mounting points these are pure solid aluminium steel mounting points so these will go over in the mounting and then we can tighten it as required i'll come to this later now let me keep it here the gso superview 30mm plossel not plossel superview lens fully multi coated made in taiwan this is the lens which gives you guys this gives you brilliant views of orion nebula like see the lens fully multi coated this piece goes inside and it has a huge eye relief your eye will not not strain that much as compared to a 9 mm 10 mm 6 mm 5 mm lenses this 30 mm with huge eye relief sure this is the finder scope so i have a binocular that is olympus 10x 50 which is 10 it gives you 10 times magnification with this telescope you get an 8x finder scope now some people can actually use it as a monocular also so this is 8x gso finder scope 8x 50mm a good thing is they have given you threads over here so if you want to put something else over here on top of this you want to put a 2x lens 5x lens that that also helps when i say lens not the telescopic lens the binocular one so one thing so one thing i actually don't like with this particular one uh, i not used it but like i let me tell you up front they don't give a 45 degree star diagram they how, how will i how will i view the stars or locate the stars a parallel view of 10 inch then this uh, finder scope i'll have to look at like this every day if i have a 45 degree diagonal i can look at like this so i bought this i thought that this will not fit in my in my hand but now i think i can actually oh this is heavy this is really nice. Guys, we have removed the covering and this is how the GSO 10 inch Doxonian looks like. This is a professional one. You will get a night watch one also, which comes in, in grey colour. So, from here, you can put the eyepiece, the image will form in this particular area. You have focuser with micro focuser. This is where you put the finder scope. Now, one thing which I actually uh, would recommend is to get a laser pointer. Right now, there's no laser pointer over here. A laser pointer will help you actually uh, find the stars much. Uh, I mean, uh, in a quicker manner than the finder scope. In the, at the back, you have this file which helps to keep the temperature of uh, primary mirror. The Before proceeding further, I'm thinking I'll fix the side bearings. For this, you need to loosen these screws. You have to handle it like this. One at the bottom, another hand over here, then very gently so that most of the load comes at the bottom. You have to place it like this. Okay, right now if you see it's very 
freely moving. So we'll try to tighten these parts. This, see, now it's not moving. I hope uh, you would have liked my unboxing video. Um, I'll use this telescope and उसके बाद मैं आपको रिव्यू बताता हूँ कैसा क्या है अभी जो मुझे प्रॉब्लम समझ में आ रही है जो कि काफी सारे इतने बड़े न्यूट्रोनियन टेलीस्कोप होते हैं वो है कॉलिमेशन की तो वो कॉलिमेशन का इश्यू तो सॉल्व करती है बट अ फेयर वार्निंग बोथ ऑफ दीज आर अपेट हैवी बहुत ज्यादा हैवी नहीं बोलूंगा लाइक ट्वेल्व फोर्टीन सिक्सटीन इंचेज आर मच मोर हैवियर देन दिस बट बिकॉज दिस इज सॉलिड ट्यूब वन इफ यू गेट अलैप्सिबल वन कोलैप्सिबल में आपको थोड़ा कम वेट होता है बट अगेन प्रॉब्लम इज कोलैप्सिबल इज सेम आपको बहुत ज्यादा कॉलिमेट करना पड़ेगा इसको भी करना पड़ेगा उसको तो और ज्यादा करना पड़ेगा सो टेल मी इन कॉमेंट्स वॉट ऑल यू वॉन्ट मी टू कवर इन माई नेक्स्ट वीडियो वॉट ऑल थिंग्स आई नीड टू इम्प्रूव क्या है आपकी राय आपको क्या क्या चाहिए देखना है आपको आगे क्या देखना है आप लोगों को कैसा लगा मेरा वीडियो सो so, ये बताइए और जाने से पहले मैं बता दू अभी मेरा लिविंग रूम ऐसा दिख रहा है ऐसा होता नहीं है होता तो बिल्कुल नहीं आपने देखा होगा बट हाँ वो रहा मेरा टेलीस्कोप और ये रहा हमारा पेज और वो बाकी जो एक्सेसरीज और जो इंस्ट्रक्शन मैनेजर होते हैं सो टिल द नेक्स्ट वीडियो बाय